Hey, Lidl just came out with this mood light and I'm going to show you how this works with Home Assistant. So I just uh, bought this uh, brand new mood light from Lidl. It was in the shop since this morning and I thought, well, let's make a quick video about it, how it works in Home Assistant and if it works in Home Assistant already. And let's see how it works generally, how the light is and stuff. So let's dive into it. Let's open the box. Manual, who needs a manual? We are guys, right? We are not reading manuals, we are just trying things out. What the nice thing is about, I saw on the box that there is a battery included, so I was just a little bit worried that it was only battery powered, but I think this is the, yeah, this is the power plug. So we have a power plug, and okay, and well, that's it. That's the mood light. Box aside. Let's open this thing. So, oh, it's quite big actually. I thought it was, it would be a much smaller, but it's, it's quite big. Now, let's see what happens if we uh, connect it to the power. So, okay. Let's put all these things aside. So, we have a power port. Mm, put power in. Ooh, that's deep. Okay. Okay, I need some power here. One moment. I have a power supply, so let's see what it does. I hooked it up. Well, nothing happens. But there is a button on the back side, so let's just click that button. Ah! And there is light. So now we are going trying to connect this to Home Assistant. You can see that the light is blinking, so probably um, it is now in pairing mode. I'm not going to read the manual, just see if I can set it up right now. So for that I go to uh, Home Assistant and then let's see, I go to Decons, Foscom. And now we go to lights, add new lights. Let's see what's happening if it's finding it right from the start. Yes, there it is, extended color light 30. So it works out of the box with Home Assistant. At least I guess it does. Okay, let's give it a name. Mm, mood lights. Rename. Okay, I'm going to assign it to a group, uh, but I want to create a new group for this one. So let's create a group first. It's main page, add group. Let's call the group mood light. Okay. And I'm going to assign a light here. Now I can do it by clicking on edit, manage lights. Mood light. So it's edit. And now I'm going to save it. And now we go back to mood light. And now let's see if I can change the colors here. So, hey, look what's happening. Yeah, 
the colors are changing. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice brightness. Can I set the brightness? I'm really wondering how bright this light is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off all the lights here in my room and then we can see better how much light this mood light will give. So give me a second. So this is the amount of light that it, that it gives. I'm not sure if I, I don't think it's that much actually. It's just, it's, it's not really bright. Let's see if I can make it. Let's give it a different color. So let's go to Home Assistant and to see if we can add this light to our Lovelace dashboard. The thing is, I just called it Mood Light and in the beginning in Decons it gets a default name and I changed the name. So probably I have to refresh my, my entities. So I go to Configuration and then Integrations and then I go to Decons, where's my Decons? the decons and I'm going to say reload okay and now let's look at the devices and there is my mood light so my mood light is there and if I click it I click here ah I see that everything is here already so it is there in home assistant it is working in home assistant and uh, well, let's add it to my, uh, my dashboard. So I'm going to add a new tab. And I'll call it Mood Light. Save. And I'm going to add a light card here. And let's see if I can find Mood Light here. this I'm going to save it and yes it is working so I can now turn on and off the mood light I can switch the brightness of the mood light and I can also change the colors so this is the new mood light of the Lidl I'm not sure if the brightness is that bright I'm going to test it in a darker room you, you'll see that up there and um, well, it's up to you if you want to buy it or not. It's not very expensive and uh, it works out of the box with Home Assistant. Hey guys, I hope this helped. If so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick the little bell and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.